What is up? This is Tim from Madden Community College, and today we're going to look at my wish list for uh, Madden 18. This is going to be a small series that's going to involve some ideas I think they could add, which would be a lot of fun. Uh, so, ability cam ideas. I, I brainstormed a bunch of ability cam ideas because I was really bored one day. So, let's get into them. So, Bulldozer. Uh, this is a just a cam that will make the running back have a better chance of falling forward. That's really all it is. Uh, just, you know how Adrian Peterson used to play in, in previous years, where he'd always fall forward? That's basically the idea. Uh, drive would be for Joe Montana and Elway, and, uh, and I guess now Tom Brady, where they get clutch trait yes for the uh, fourth quarter. I mean, all players get clutch trait yes. Uh, that would be an interesting uh, little chem. I don't know how it would affect the game that much, but it could be cool. So the double juke cam would be uh, like the Madden 16 double juke. That's all it would be. You'd still lose stamina and everything, but you get to double juke, which would be cool. Uh, high point. This would be where receivers have better uh, odds in the high point situations, just like the aggressive catch last year. I'd, I'd like to see a player like Mike Evans or Odell Beckham get that. Uh, recognition. Uh, I, I call this... Uh, I, I couldn't think of a cool name for this, but... It'd be where a corner or a linebacker will adapt better when someone runs the same play more than five times. It'd be really cool to see. Uh, I know there was an ability like in some other game a few years ago where if they kept running the same play, you would see their play art, which is pretty cool. Uh, returner. Oh, this already happened. It's funny how uh, that happens. Uh, miracle. I call this uh, where in the final seconds of the game, like literally the last ten seconds, uh, that player would get like all 99 stats. Now, uh, I don't think this one would be very balanced, but that's why it's called Miracle. And yeah, that's really all it is, because that player could still not affect the game at all. SWAT's super powerful. It's just, it'd be interesting to see. Uh, big Hitter. This would be a chem that just does it and works with animations. Even if it doesn't affect fumble chance, I would like to see Eric Reed. Or like a future Patrick Willis or Cam Chancellor, always, always, always get that fump, uh, big hit uh, animation where you just lay them out. It's just a cool aesthetic kind of Kim. Uh, I don't really care if it affects the game that much. Same with the circus one. Uh, this would be for players like Lashawn McCoy or Odell Beckham, where they always get unique animations. So these would just be animations that you don't see other players get. Like, uh, you know, like one-handed catches while you're diving forward or something. Like, something ridiculous. That would be what that cam is for. Uh, the option cam. This would make option QBs actually be able to uh, get 50-50 reads on option plays. I feel this would be a great way for Madden to actually fix their mistake on making option kind of irrelevant. But it'd be it's just something I would like to see. Maybe on, like, a campus hero, Robert RG3... Uh, or something, maybe Kaepernick. Uh, escape, this would be a, a QB centered play where you know how when the uh, QB escapes sacks, I think Romo and Eli Manning should escape sacks more consistent and more often. So that's what that cam would do. Um, <clears throat> sniffer, th I call it, this one is where a D lineman will play the screen and or put his hands up on short passes uh, more often. Uh, toe tap, this is where a receiver will get the toe tap animation with a higher chance of completion. So, like Antonio Holmes uh, from uh, what's his name? from the Steelers a few while back, or Santonio Holmes. <laughs> Stupid autocorrect. Yeah, Santonio Holmes, when he made that t toe tap at the win the Super Bowl, that would be what that kind of thing is. Just so you see like the toe tap animation, so they always catch sideline passes. That'd be really cool to see. Uh, Island is where a corner will never lose a one-on-one -on -one contested pat, uh, catch like Revis or Sherman. Uh, <clears throat> obviously, this doesn't mean they'd uh, win every play. It just means they would never get um, mossed on. They would still lose. Like uh, They could still get burned. They could still not be uh, close enough for the receiver to catch. It would just be no aggressive catches against that kind of receiver or corner. Identifier on defense, so on fourth down, uh, my idea for identifier on defense is on fourth down, you will see the red painted route. 
So that's really only if they go for it, and it would kind of just deter going for it, because that's all I want, is more people to palm forth. Uh, the Peanut Punch, if Charles Tillman ever gets a Legend card, uh, I would like the strip animation will give uh, will give him a unique punch out like uh, Charles Tillman. So it's like a totally unique uh, animation, but only a player like Charles Tillman could get it. Uh, savior, this is where a safety on a big play would get increased pursuit and tackle, maybe even speed, to try and save the big play. So you know those plays where they they got the huge big play and you're no one's in sight. Uh, this would just make one player a little bit faster to get there. Doesn't mean he'll always get him, but it could help a lot. Sideline awareness, where a receiver will not run into the sideline on rack catches. I put this one in there kind of as a joke because of how bad racking is this year, but it could work. Uh, it, imagine a receiver actually just turning upfield as soon as he catching it, catches it instead of running out of bounds. That would be really nice to have. Uh, bull rush, this is something that could actually be a trait, but uh, whereas the, well, I mean, it is a trait, but I would like to see it actually uh, come into fruition for certain players that do the bull rush instead of it just being a trait, yes or no. So, like, a J.J. Watt should get, like, a 99 bull rush stat or just a chem that says bull rush. So it means he'll just only perform that move on bull rushing or on pass rush attempts, which would be really cool. Uh, game manager, uh, this would be a, uh, a, a chem for players like Alex Smith, where uh, you, the QB would never throw a interception against a computer-controlled player. Now, if it was usered or you clicked on the player real quick to go pick it off, it'd get picked. Uh, just only if you were throwing it straight at a defensive player and it was computer-controlled, they automatically drop it. Uh, touchdown specialist, where a player... Uh, I guess that just happened. I mean, it's funny, I made this list a, a little while ago, so that the, some of the cams they added actually coincided with what I was talking about. Uh, secure run blocker was where, where a lineman won't allow insta shed on run players. That'd be useful. Like, you'd, act, you'd have a guaranteed hold on a, a run. Uh, that's just all it would be. It probably still wouldn't be like game breaking, it's just hold his, play, his block a little bit longer. Uh, burner, where a receiver will get free releases on streaks and posts. So certain receivers like Randy Moss and stuff would never get, you would never want to press them, otherwise this would hurt you. But I, I feel like there would have to be a way to counter it or at least um, slow it down. So like if it was like single, or two men under, like you could totally press and it'd be fine. That kind of thing. Um, slippery, this is where an elusive player gets essentially battle ready, just named differently and you press Y on tackle battles. I would like to see that, uh, personally, but, you know, hopefully they add it. Or they could just give battle ready to some elusive backs, I mean, it's all, it's all what they could do. Um, slash, I call this where a player can play multiple positions and retain their chemistry, like, uh, the former Steelers player. That'd be a cool way to, uh, introduce, um, out of position players, uh, next year. Uh, on fire, where a player is performing well will have increased stats the better he plays, uh, just like in NBA 2K. So like the more the more pass completions your quarterback does, the more accurate he'll begin to be, or something like that along those lines. That's uh, something that would be cool. Uh, intelligent, a defender will always act with a secondary zone effect. So if they're doing nothing in the center field, they won't just stay there, they'll go do something. I would like that. Uh, that could also just be an uh, upgrade to the game mechanics of uh, zones, whatever they could do. Um, cut blocking, uh, it's not soup, like uh, chop blocks I believe are illegal, cut blocks are illegal, I'm not sure what the terminology would be, but uh, I would like to see uh, certain uh, halfbacks or whatever be able to use this. And then showboating, I would like players to get unique celebrations, so it'd be unique celebrations every time too. So every time they scored, they'd get like one the backflip or all the cool ones instead of just spiking it or something stupid. So uh, that's my wish list for next year on Ability Chems. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know what you want to see uh, Ability Chem-wise for next year. See ya.